Hello everyone! Ha, you see, I'm back at the beginning of your meaning what? New year, new PC law. Hi, new meaning lucky me. <coughs> I mean, better performance. You all new year got new goals, new achievement. PC also same one ma. But this time, I'm back with a very king chow PC at your know lah. Who's my love? That's right, my beautiful ROG Wing. Start off with the new powerful processor from the Intel Elder Lake family. The Core i9-12900K chip represents the best among Intel's 12th gen processor. If you're still out of the radar, the Elder Lake family uses a hybrid core architecture which comes in two types of cores, performance cores and efficient cores, also known as P cores and E cores. The chip that we are using for this rig has a total of 8 P cores and 8 E cores, which is the maximum you can get on the new chipsets. So many cores, but what are they for? Well, the P cores, as the name suggests, focuses on high-performance computing. Compared to the 11th gen Intel chips, they can deliver a 19% better performance. Meanwhile, the E cores are in charge of maximizing performance per watt. Meaning, it consumes less power while delivering the same performance. And unlike the E cores, the P cores has multi-threading capability, so each has two threads. And with that said, we have 24 threads on this chipset. And since we have the latest Intel processor, we must also have a motherboard that can fit in ma. Ha. Huh. Maybe you know, maybe you don't know, but in case you didn't know, the size of the 12th gen processor is bigger than the 11th gen one because the previous LGA 1200 sockets is already replaced by a bigger LGA 1700 socket. So to house the new king, we have this ROG Maximus Z690 Hero motherboard. Bling bling RGB here and they're very strong, right? It has a new LED display which ROG calls the polymer lighting over the rare I.O. cover. And in terms of performance, it comes with 20 plus 1 power stages rated for up to 90 amps. Speaking of the I.O., we have got 2 Thunderbolt 4 USB Type-C ports, 6 USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A ports and a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, 2 USB 2.0 Type-A ports, 1 HDMI port, a 2.5 gig Ethernet port with ASUS LAN guard, 1 optical SPDIF out port and 5 audio jacks. As a new motherboard supporting DDR5 RAM and PCIe 5.0 solutions, it offers up to 5 M.2 drives for our Kingston SSDs, 2 PCIe 5.0 slots and only 1 PCIe 4.0 slot. Well, meaning PCIe 3.0 is out. Hiya, old stuff cannot fire already, time for the new ones. But we are not changing to the new for the new, but for its better performance. And yes, PCIe 4.0 is already crazy fast, but PCIe 5.0 is twice faster, okay? Its bandwidth and giga transfer rate double over PCIe 4.0 at a 3.94 gigabyte per second transfer rate and 32 giga transfers per second. Also, to insert the Kingston DDR5 RAM sticks in, we have four dual channel RAM slots available. These DDR5 RAMs have 50% higher memory bandwidth and a lower operating voltage, which means it's faster but consumes less power at the same time. Memory efficiency is also higher on the DDR5 RAM as it uses a new channel architecture with two channels per DIM. Moving on to the tough graphic card that can handle all your game no matter how tough they are. The Tough Gaming RTX 3080. This rugged baby has military grade capacitors, chokes, and MOSFETs like its older siblings. The graphic card but it still looks strong only, huh? His performance is also see very strong. Why? Thanks to its NVIDIA Ampere architecture. And with this technology, you'll be able to enjoy a huge performance boost in gaming with some of NVIDIA's signature features. One of them is DLSS, also known as Deep Learning Super Sampling. It is powered by tensor cores and renders your game graphics in lower resolution and then uses AI to upscale it to a higher resolution. Coming up next is Ray Tracing. The RT cores in the GPU will enable Ray Tracing which stimulates the behavior of light in real time to bring you lifelike graphics. And lastly, it has NVIDIA Reflex to intelligently reduce render latency so that your game performance can stay fast and responsive. High resolution, nice graphic, fast performance. <sighs> For the cooling system in this rig, we are using the ROG Ryujin 2 360 liquid CPU cooler. 
featuring the 7 Gen STEC pump with an operating range starting at 840 RPM and coupled with the Noctua fans for high airflow and minimal noise. The cooler also comes with a 3.5 inch LCD display that can show system stats in real time, such as water flow, CPU temperature, and CPU fan speed. If you love to play with the customizations, you can add in your own logos or animations via Armory Crate. With everything in order, we have the ROG Tor 1200W Platinum Power Supply to power up this rig. When it comes to ROG, how can you miss all the RGB? Of course, this addressable RGB LEDs on this power supply add is Aura Sync compatible. As for display, I know you guys have been going crazy about OLED panels. But guess what? This power supply also got! This is the first PC power supply in the world to feature an integrated OLED panel, which display power draw in real time. And when it comes to cooling, it has an IP5X dust resistant wing blade fan to keep things cool. Now that we have all the body parts, we will need a body to put everything in their own place to make it work. So, here comes this ROG Strix Celios mid tower casing. Looks very strong and sturdy leh. Huh. It's built with an aluminium frame to keep all your babies inside and covered with a strong tempered glass. In a standard orientation, you can insert up to 3 graphic cards or up to 2 if you want to put them vertically. On the top, it has an I.O. panel which supports a USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port, 4 USB 3.0 ports, an RGB lighting control button, and a fan speed control button. So, we have come to the part where the professionals love the most. Ah yes! Time for some games and the small number on top for you guys to compare. But before you all get jealous of me playing games on this rig, I have a few more ROG products to make you guys even more sin. The ROG Gladius 3 wireless mouse, the ROG Scabbard 2 mouse pad, ROG Claymore 2 gaming keyboard, and the ROG Delta S gaming headset. A full set of ROG for the ROG baby. Like this only called ROG fans, man. Now, some of you may not be familiar with this ROG peripheral, so I'll introduce them for a bit. First off, the ROG Gladius 3 wireless mouse support dual wireless connectivity either via 2.4GHz USB dongle or low energy Bluetooth. And spec-wise, it has a 16,000 dpi optical sensor with an insane speed of 400 IPS. Going under the mouse is the ROG Scabbard 2 mouse pad that comes with a protective nano coating which repels water, oil, and dust. And going side by side with the Duo is the ROG Claymore 2 Gaming Mechanical Keyboard. It comes with a detachable numpad so you can remove it to save up that space when you're playing FPS games. It can be connected in both wired or 2.4GHz wireless mode with super fast 1 millisecond response time. And lastly, to throw yourself in an immersive gaming experience, we have the ROG Delta S Gaming Headset with RGB lighting. The lightweight headset features an AI noise cancelling microphone and is compatible with PC, Nintendo Switch, as well as PlayStation 5. And that's all from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that you see today. This is Christina from Salty News Network. Bye. Enjoy the benchmarks.